Okay boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and we are literally three days away from FIFA 22. What? How is it? I don't even know where FIFA 21's gone. It's literally just gone and we're on FIFA 22. Like, what, what is genuinely going on right now? But today, I thought we'd go ahead and figure out the team that I want to have, basically, for the first weekend league. So, I will be putting a fair few FIFA points on, so if you do see some quite outrageous players in here, that is basically why. But what I want you guys to do is actually tweet me on the Twitter. If you don't know what my Twitter is, it's actually at NerfIYT. There'll be a link in the description and it should be on your screen somewhere, unless I completely forget. But what I want you guys to do is tweet me the team you guys want to rock at the start of the game. Today we're going to be using the site called Footmine, which actually has a thousand players from the database. It's not 100% confirmed, all these ratings, but literally every rating EA have dropped so far has come back correct from what Footmine already actually dropped. So, pretty much legit. If not, it might be a few tweaks here and there, but still 90% accuracy here. At least, it's got to be at least 90%. So that is the site we're going to be using today. We're going to use their squad build and see how it goes. Like I said, if you guys are putting together your FIFA 22 starter squads, make sure you do tweet me. I do want to see them and maybe we'll make a video out of it. If we get enough of them, we'll chuck them into a video and I'll let you know my thoughts on your teams as well. Anyways, it's time to get into this. Like I said, though, I will be spending a fair few FIFA points at the start. So my team is probably going to be quite disgusting for the first weekend league. But let's get over to the side and let's see what we can come up with. All right, let's have a think. Like, I've actually got to kind of structure this out, haven't I? Like, I've, got, I've got to be careful of who I put where because I need good chemistry. Like, chemistry is key. At least we think it is. It, um, it might not even be needed next year. Who knows? I think I'm actually going to start off from the attack and I think we're going to stay for this formation but not actually use the 4-3-3 in game. A lot of the time I just switch up. So what we'll do is we'll build it in this formation and then actually show you the formation that I'm probably going to rock in game as well. Right. Striker, there's one man that I really want at the start of the game. He's gonna cost a lot. I mean, you literally just saw who it was. I don't know why I'm switching as if you didn't see who it was. Cristiano Ronaldo. 9 to unrated, been downgraded this year. You guys know my thoughts on that. A lot of you guys actually disagreed with me in my last video, but you know, it is what it is. But anyways, Cristiano Ronaldo, 87 pace, 88 dribbling, 93 shooting, 34 defending, 82 passing, 75 physical, and he's in the Premier League. Music to my ears. Get him in the team. And that's probably about half, if not three quarters of the budget already gone on one player. I did tell you guys though, it is, it's gonna be fairly outrageous. Like, I'm putting a fair few FIFA points on. Connecting to him on the left mid, his Man United teammate, Marcus Rashford, get him in. My plan is to use them two as the strikers for this team. That is what we're going to basically go with. We're going to probably go with a 4-3-1-2 formation. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. So them two up top, both five-star skills. I think Rashford might have a little bit worse of a weak foot, but five-star skills, got pace, good dribbling, good shooting. Should be all right, hopefully. Right, for my right-wing option, I think I'm going to go with Mr. Leroy Sane. Looking at his card, he's actually right mid this year. I think that might be the first time he's actually started off as a right-wing. Maybe not. I might be completely wrong there. But looking at his card, 90 pace, 85 dribbling, 81 shooting, 38 defending, 79 passing, and 68 physical. The reason I actually want this card is actually for a different player in the midfield. Like, he's going to link up to a certain player that I want in midfield. I don't know what Sane is going to be exactly like, especially as I can. But, especially in the start of the game, the guy should be pretty solid. But, like I said, it's all tactical for the midfielder you're about to see and i'm pretty sure most of you can probably guess already so going across to the midfielder it is Goretzka. i think i'm actually over hoping that i'm gonna get a lot more coins than i probably actually will do at the start but don't let dreams be dreams as they say so looking at his card 87 rated overall with 81 pace 84 dribbling 82 shooting 81 defending 82 passing and 86 physical what a card what a ridiculous card like wow that is genuinely insane. Just get him in the team. Get, I'll pay whatever. I'll put more FIFA points on. Just let me get him in my team. Like I said, though, this is for the first weekend league. So by then, we should have some sort of rewards and maybe a bit more of a pack luck. You know, packing something that we can sell on, which would be decent. But joining him in at the midfield, Angelo Carte. Oh, yes. Get him in. The little soft link to Ronaldo. Been a link to some other players, definitely, that you'll see in a minute. But Angolo Carte, at the start of every FIFA, this guy is genuinely ridiculous. Like, incredible. So hopefully, this FIFA, he's the exact same and he can absolutely ball out as our defensive midfielder in the midfield three then for our third and final midfielder the more attacking option in this midfield it's going to be Kai Havertz obviously he hasn't got the greatest defending stats but let's quickly look at his card so he's an 84 rated with 82 pace 84 dribbling 78 shooting 45 defending 79 passing and 66 physical like I said he's more of the attacking midfielder out of the three Goretzka is like box to box Kante is obviously our defensive and then Havertz is basically our attacking one that's always going to be pretty much pushing up in the game that's kind of the plan we'll see how we go We'll see what his card is like. Some FIFA's he's been really good. Some FIFA's he's been meh. So let's see what he can be like at the start of this game. And hopefully he is good. Now on to our second centre-back. Wow. 
This card is literally ridiculous for the rating as well. Like, if he gets one in form, he's going up to a guaranteed 84 rating as well. But it is indeed Mr. Lacroix. He is 79 rated with 88 pace, 65 dribbling, 33 shooting, 80 defending, 56 passing, and 77 physical. Genuinely, this guy was one of my favorite team of the season cards at the end of FIFA 21. Like, this guy was so good. So hopefully, this gold card can be very good. Obviously, he's not got the strongest defensive stats, but we can always throw a shadow on him or something that's going to increase his defending to give him that bit more of a boost and make him even better. But 88 pace, surely it can't be that bad, especially alongside Mr. Raphael Varane. And a nice little strong link to Mr. Lacroix. That is indeed Mr. Mbabu. Should be a pretty solid right back to start the game. I mean, obviously links to both Goretzka and Lacroix, which is good. Not that Goretzka needs any more chemistry, actually. But taking a look at his card, 79 rated with 88 pace, 73 dribbling, 51 shooting, 74 defending, 69 passing, and 80 physical. Should definitely be solid for the start of the game, 100%. Before the special cards comes out for the first weekend league, he should be able to do the job. For left back, we're going to bring in Varane's old partner in crime. And obviously, he's not going to be on full chemistry. But it is indeed the man, Mr. Furlan Mendy. I mean, once again, is going to be the best left back card, goal card on this game again. Let's be honest. The card is ridiculous. He's sitting at 83 rated with 92 pace, 79 dribbling, 64 shooting, 78 defending, 76 passing and 84 physical. He should definitely be able to do a job. Once again, going to be very expensive though, but there's not actually that many good Premier League left backs really to choose from. I mean, you've got Robertson with 84 pace. Luke Shaw's got like 79 pace. Big I think it's one of the fastest ones with 86 pace. Maybe he's one to go with, but I'm going to risk a bit of my chemistry and I'm going to chuck Mendy in at left back, who should be pretty damn solid. And then in goal, just to add another league to the team, because why not? We're going to go with Mignan. Obviously recently moving to AC Milan. Sitting at 84 rating as well, with 83 diving, 80 86 reflexes, 81 handling, 50 speed, 85 kicking, and 84 positioning. I think he should be pretty solid. I mean, keepers are always a bit of a weird one. I mean, actually playing the beta, keepers did seem pretty good this year. So hopefully he could be solid, but it's always just worth giving them a go. I mean, we could go for any French goalkeeper or we could go for someone like De Gea that obviously strongly leads to Varane. But I thought, why not throw one extra league in there that works with chemistry as well? And we'll put Mignan in goal. Okay, so our team is now built for FIFA 22. Like I said, it's going to be fairly expensive. Let's be honest. I might not be able to afford all these players for the first weekend league, but Let's quickly run back through it. So in goal is Mike Nan. Right back is Mbabu. Right centre back is Nakua. Left centre back is Varane. Left back is Mendy. Left centre mid is Havertz. Central centre mid is Kante. Right centre mid is Goretzka. Then right wing we have Leroy Sane. Left wing we have Rashford. And striker we have Ronaldo. So like I said, I'm probably not going to be playing this formation in game. And we're probably going to go with a 4 3 one 2 So let me show you how that will look actually in game. So this is how we'll lay it out in game. So left striker will be Ronaldo. Right striker will be Rashford. Cam will be Sane. Left centre mid is going to be Havertz. Central centre mid is Kante and right centre mid is Goretzka and obviously the back four and the goalkeeper will be the same. In terms of tactics for this team as well I have Kante on stay back while attacking and cover centre and then probably my other two centre mids on balanced and then also my cam on stay forward and then, and then both strikers probably on get in behind and obviously the full backs on stay back while attacking. Forgot about that part. So yes there we go that is my planned team for the first weekend league of FIFA 22. Like I said earlier make sure you guys show me your team that you want to have by foot champs. Tweet me at the Fire YT on Twitter. Go ahead, tweet me a team, and if we get enough, like I said, I'll chuck it into a video and we'll review your guys' teams as well. But yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>